Hey everyone, so <clears throat> let's take a look at some coins today. We'll be looking at the most popular ones, um, you know, APT, Aptos, uh, LDO, OP, all these three run together, but I'm also going to type in or tag in Bitcoin and Ethereum as well, um, also XRP. Uh, but before I go over that, starting next month, I do have a trading competition starting. Uh, it's with Bybit, so it starts in five days and it takes place um, throughout all of February. Um, so first, second, and third place win prizes. Um, now it's based on how many participants we get, right? So I've already funded the the uh, the, the tournament, and first place gets 250, uh, second place gets 150, and third place gets 100 if there's uh, one to 25 participants, and then if there's 26 or more. This is the payout. Um, I just want to see how, how this turns out to be. Um, if this is successful, then I will increase the payout for the next challenge, but no point of doing so if I don't get like 10 participants. So the rules and terms and conditions are here. Um, and yeah, this starts next month. So in five days, registration opens up. You have to be using my referral link um, and you'll have to register once this goes live. If you aren't registered with my link, then you will not, if you do win, you will not get paid. Um, so it's only those registered with my link. Now let's go back to charts. So let's take a look at Bitcoin. It's, it's dumping as we speak. Um, it did take out Friday's highs and did a um, SFP. All right, swing failure. Now, currently, it's retesting the breakout of the flag. Okay, so the target for this flag is actually going to be about twenty-four point eight. If this holds, um, now there is. You know, bottom side liquidity here. We took out the top side, so bottom side liquidity would be here. Take this out to 22,300. So something like now, if this retests hold, right? Like we're going higher. But if this were to dump, I'm looking for something like this. Reclaim this um, swing low, and then you can long market long, but you don't want to set bids. You're looking for this reclaim of this low here. Uh, take the liquidity down here, reclaim it, and mark it long. Once we mark it long, your stops would be below that. All right. So that level is going to be 22,300 ish. Clear, take that liquidity out. Um, however, we still might go down here. This is what I'm hoping for uh, 21.6k. Um, would love to get long there. It would be an SR flip attempt. We broke out, but never had retested this area. Now, on the long side, right, I gave you the long trigger of the, the sweep low or here, but if, if we just, you know, retest the bull flag here and continue higher, um, if I go on the daily, the next resistance doesn't come until this area here. There's a lot of liquidity here from 24.6 to 25.3k. Um, this would be the target for that bull flag as well. Now, I'm looking honestly for shorts here. About 24.7ish is when I start laddering shorts. And I have a hard stop at 26k, right? And <clears throat> I'm expecting Over the course of the next three to four months, um, I'm actually expecting this range to play out. Okay, so I expect rejection from this level and a harsh one as well. And over the next, uh, you know, three to four months, I expect 
this range to just be playing out. So I want to either wait until um, we reject here, or th it's, there's a possibility that we could take out these highs here, just like we did today, right? Take out these highs around 25.2K, uh, swing failure. Um, now, if that happens, let me just... So if we take out these highs here, okay, and we swing failure, that's your short trigger, right? Take out the highs, come back below, close below the high here. That's your short trigger, and you're going to place your stop. You can still have it at 26K, um, but I'm personally laddering shorts, small ones, from um, 20 4.7 ish down to or up to 25.3k, uh, and my hard stop begins at 26, and I'm looking for this range to come back to about 20k, um, 21, 20.5k ish, uh, and then I would look to long there again to these highs, and just play that range until it breaks. Now for the short, if we are able to take these highs and just consolidate under this resistance and flip it, I'm going to cut it and just wait for a um, rejection at some point. <clears throat> Same with down here. Um, I'm expecting a bounce here as well, but if we for some reason, you know, do go to 19.7K ish, that's a major buy for me. And this is gonna be long term. I'm not, I'm not talking about um, perpetuals. I'm actually talking about like spot buys. Um, we already bought down here if you're in the Discord with me, but this area is a big buy. Okay, so anywhere from, uh, sub 20k is a big buy. I expect 20k to hold. It was previous all-time high, so um, yeah. So that's the Bitcoin plan here. Um, before I jump into the other coins, let's take a look at ETH. So let's make this a clear chart. Let's start on the daily. So resistance for ETH is still going to be about 1680. Um, we got close to it, um, but failed, failed, and currently failed. Now this looks like it's rounding, right? So I, I expect a, a pullback. Now the pullback I expect is going to be probably somewhere around Fourteen twenty-ish to thirteen eighty-ish. Um, I would love to see that. Um, if we go on a a uh, shorter time frame here, right? We have a left shoulder. Here's the head. Uh, the right shoulder hasn't formed yet. But if we, in my opinion, if we lose this level here. 1585 and do that that's a short for me if we lose it and turn it to resistance I'm going to short that and target 1418 um, now if we lose it and turn it to resistance my stop would be you know, above 1620 ish 1630 and I'm going to target down here it's a 3.6 R trade, right? Um, if we get to this resistance here, I want to see how it reacts. We could take out the highs there and then swing failure and go down. But if we are able to flip this resistance to support, I'm going to long it. But until that happens, I'm not touching um, ETH until I get my triggers. Uh, if we do get to 1418, Anywhere from 1418 down to 1380, that's a long zone for me. I will also be adding to my spot buys as well. Um, so that's that's the ETH plan. Keep your eyes out on the 1580 level. Okay, that's the big level. Um, so everyone's favorite coin, APT. Now. People keep shorting all-time high breaks, and I don't understand why. 
every time this has broken all time highs, so here's the break, right? It's just gone ballistic, right? Here's the break. Here's the, here's the break, right? I can keep going and going and going. But every time this uh, does, you know, flag or break resistance and break all-time high, it's been a profitable trade. Um, now, it's, it's cooling down here, right? It, it is topping. Um, two areas to possibly play it would be this demand zone here. So I like to play a little bit lower. So about 1650 to 1570 is where I would like to get long. Now this coin is very volatile, so be careful. Um, but if you were to draw fibs on this, let's start from. So I personally expect this to go to this 20.4 to 21 uh, point level. Um, this is where I expect it to reject. I think it still has another leg up, um, whether it be you know going down to create another um, higher low and then going higher. This is where I expect it to top out and then you know do some kind of ABC correction. Um, back to 1430. Um, so I'm keeping an eye out for for this fib level uh, 20.41 as a short. Um, so that's that, that's my plan and possibly scalp long this 16.5 uh, to basically 15.7 level. Now be careful again. This coin's super volatile. Everyone's shorting it. Negative funding. This could easily rip. And as I've been saying, once it keeps breaking all-time highs, this could go ballistic. So just be careful. Um, this will probably flip Sol and market cap. Um, Shitcoin Sol is another coin that we could possibly take a look at. Um, but this has been the easiest trade once it breaks all-time highs. Same with LDO. Um, LDO, as I mentioned, runs with APT, um, and same with OP. This, <coughs> I think, right? The swing failure then dumped, um, but today it's gotten a nice move up, almost or almost a twelve percent move up today, um, just as APT had. Now, this is still holding trend, right? Um, if you want to get long, careful here though, because we do have a possible head and shoulders forming. But if this bounces from this trend line, so about around 222 and 220 and goes higher, that's a good place to get long. You can have a very tight stop. Right, you'll target the highs here. Now, this this move is, you know, again, uh, reliant on APT doing well. If if those three, if APT gets a pullback, same with the market, this will pull up, pull back as well. So long the trend until it, uh, it's broken. If it, you know, breaks down, turns it to resistance, then you can short with the stop somewhere above here once, you know, the candles form, and then you'll take profit at levels, profit levels, so 1.89, 1.73, so on and so forth. Um, if this does break all-time highs, okay, it's going to pull an APT, like, this coin will keep going higher and higher. So, but if it does, you know, swing failure again, just like here, goes up, comes down, turns it to resistance, right? Went up, came back down, turned it to resistance. 
Then you'll open a short with your high above the wick. Um, OP gave this to the Discord. OP had a a bull flag, right? We also had the fibs drawn out. Once once it's in price discovery, you draw fibs for for uh, price predictions. Now today. Broke all-time high, right? Rejected against the uh, 382 level. Swing failured, right? Now we came close to it, rejected. If you had opened, you know, if you were watching charts here and you shorted here, you'd place your stop above this wick and you'd have got a nice move down. So far, it's <clears throat> respecting fibs. Um, 232 has been flipped to support for now. Uh, lose that and turn to resistance, then you're going to possibly get a retest of this bull flag breakout. So a good place to possibly bid would be here, uh, which is around 2.2 down to 2.14. Um, otherwise, you'll be looking at this OB. Right, I personally like playing this OB better. If we get 2.06, that's going to be the play. I'll be targeting 2.8 levels. Um, I'm not going to short this right now. Short should have happened on that rejection. Um, so swing failures, keep your eyes out on that as well. XRP gave this to the Discord, right? It it broke out, right? It retested, flipped this 3.9 level to support, right? I'm still expecting a, a bigger move to 45 cents ish. Um, we just need a little push from Bitcoin to do that. <clears throat> but this has been consolidating for the longest time right consolidation it, it broke out deviated back into the range this is going to give soon now I think the XRP case and the ripple case in, is in the next few weeks or something like that I heard I'm not following it but I think it's like in two months ish so keep your eyes out on that because if, if this runs or if you know there's good news coming out of this case, this will run hard, and you don't want to short this coin when this run, when it runs. But I'm currently in from 37.5, and I'm targeting 45 cents. Um, this 3.9 level, this is a buy zone in my opinion. So 39.5 cents down to um, 37.5 is buy zone. Um, Come back here, retest, and then go higher. Let's take a look at Seoul really quickly. So, <clears throat> Seoul did break out, right? This is clear resistance. Right, this 26, 27 level is very, very strong. Now, we could be putting in a uh, bearish three drive pattern. Right, so here's that. Here's your one tap, two tap. If we go into this region again, That's a short for me. And I'm targeting this 18.7 and 14.9 level. Okay. Now, why is that a short for me? You have bearish three drive pattern, right? You have trend line rejection. And then you have this major resistance that we have not been able to flip, right? We held it a support, held a support, lost it, 
we retested it, rejected, right? That was the first retest, and then we have another one coming, right? It's not going to break through on the first two. So 27 to 28 um, is a very good short region, um, and I do expect it to reject hard. Lose this trend line, it's over as well. So I'm looking to short... I'm long from 20.5, um, but I'm looking to hedge my short, uh, hedge my longs around 27 or 26.60ish to 28 with my stop loss at 29.1. I'd be looking to buy spot at the X levels. Those are the only coins I'm currently looking at. Um, you know, follow the trend, follow the strong narratives, and that's right now APT, LDO, OP. So I'm not be looking to trade any other coins until, you know, profits from these move over to, say, you know, Ethereum or Bitcoin. But I have my triggers, have plans in place, and that's how we're going to go. Thanks, everyone.